Look at crude oil. Now June is down $5.30 at $96.77 per barrel. So let's go to Oliver and talk about all this. So do you think that is a contributor to the weakness in the corn? I think it's a huge contributor, and a lot of this stems on the back of news that China is going to expand their lockdowns, which puts a big demand, a dent in demand for a lot of commodities, and you're seeing that obviously take place in the crude oil market, and that's bleeding over into the grain uh, sector as well, with corn, soybeans, and wheat all trading a little bit lower. Uh, moving past this little blip on the radar, hopefully it's just a little blip of Chinese demand, uh, we're, we're looking at weather being a increasingly important factor here, not only in the United States, but South America as well. It sounds like uh, conditions down in central Brazil are pretty hot and dry and on kind of the verge of a drought down there. And then obviously we've got weather here in the States uh, being a bigger and bigger issue, cold and wet in the eastern Corn Belt and hot and dry in the southern and western part. Uh, crop progress coming out later this afternoon, expected to be about 7% planted for corn. That's about 8% behind the five-year average. So uh, a little bit of a delay to start the year, but it still is you know, pretty early in the season to get overly concerned on that. I believe the expectations for soybean planting is about 4% uh, complete, again, behind the five-year average. But I don't think anything to, to get up in arms about just yet. Interesting, though, now that you mentioned that, if that's the case, if there is a concern about being so far behind on planning already this year, why is December lagging what's going on in, in July corn? Well, I think a lot of premium has been put into the market in the December contract. It has had been the leader for the past several weeks, and these forecasts of cold and wet and delays aren't really anything new, and it looks like it's going to be more of the same looking out at the 10-day forecast for the eastern side of the Corn Belt as well. It's going to be cool and damp, so I wouldn't be surprised to see these delays continue, but I think at the end of the day, everything will get ironed out, and these producers and American farmers are pretty darn good at what they do and getting the crop in the ground, so it will get in the ground at some point, just a matter of if, not or when, not if. Now that uh, spread has widened out to 70 cents again between the July and December contracts on corn. Another thing that uh, could be a fly in the ointment today, look at the value of the dollar on the U.S. dollar index right now. We have June futures actually gaining 522 points today, all the way up to 101.735. And that always puts a little bit of a crimp in uh, foreign demand for U.S. ag goods just because of the exchange rate. 